I'm Emily Dean, and today I want to talk to you in our course, The Minister's Wife, about pursuing goals. Ladies, in all of these things that we have talked about throughout these units, goals can help you achieve tangible results from all the different areas that we have talked about with spiritual goals, financial goals, uh, family goals, personal goals. Goals are a way, or there's something that you can control and it's something that you can actively work toward. Whereas a desire is something you want, but that you really don't have control over. But ladies, what you can do is choose to set a goal whether you decide to do it at the beginning of the year or throughout the year, that is up to you. But the important thing is, is that you pray about an area of your life that the Lord wants to grow you in, make a decision to pursue a goal, take some definite steps in actively pursuing that goal, and then you have to have the discipline to follow through, to be obedient to the Lord and what He has called you to do. Maybe it's in physical goals. Maybe you feel led to, to get in shape and to uh, eat healthier. Maybe it's in financial goals. You feel like the Lord wants to grow you in this area and learning how to manage money well. Maybe it's in spiritual goals of making sure that you take time daily to spend time reading and praying and growing closer to the Lord. Whatever it is in your life, pray about what area of your life that God wants to grow you in, and then you have to have the discipline to follow through with that goal. Goals can be painful and costly. Discipline is not easy. It's usually painful, but there are many rewards with actually following through with God, what God has called you to do. It's an ongoing process, but I would encourage you to set goals that are manageable and achievable and that you can see little steps of progress. Also, the third step to pursuing goals is to make a determination that you are going to continue on being disciplined and working toward that goal to stay focused, to persevere, try to avoid being discouraged when you might have some setbacks because all of us will and then celebrate small accomplishments as i mentioned before you want to uh, set a goal that is not overly lofty that is seems completely unachievable but something that you can achieve maybe set smaller goals in between your larger overall goals so that you can see those little steps of accomplishment and you can celebrate that Ladies, I just want to encourage you, if you feel uh, stagnant or kind of stuck in where you're at in life right now, setting a goal and pursuing it and achieving it will encourage you and help you to gain a fresh perspective in what God has called you to do. So ladies, I would encourage you to uh, pray about what goal God wants you to pursue, to set that goal and then work toward it, and you will be blessed with the result. Thank you.